Hello all, in this video I will discuss about intrusion detection system. So what is intrusion? It is nothing but unauthorized trespassing in others property or system. So the image itself describes it. Now what is intrusion detection? So you have a system which thinks an alarm or uh, gives some signal whenever it finds somebody is trespassing to your system or property. Now, how does it happen on computers or on the cyberspace? It happens through through some kind of attacks. It may be asymmetric routing. You can see what is asymmetric routing. They send the request to one path and receive the request through some other path. There can be some other attack like uh, buffer overflow attack. There can be Trojan attack. There can be panning attack or traffic of flooding attack or there can be common gateway interface or CGI trip attack or protocol specific attacks because you know whatever protocol are going to be activated on the system the protocol are having their own pros and cons uh, regarding security aspect. We understand that one thing for detection we need to test that whether there is a uh, illegal or unauthorized activity or not and for prevention we need to build our immunity our immunity means you need to strong make strong your security um, you know configuration of the how does the intrusion detection system looks like you can see here this is uh, these three systems are in a, a private network or it is your LAN here is internet so when these systems, the private systems, are going to be accessed by somebody connected to the internet, his request is coming through a router. Say if there is a router, then firewall, then there will be a IDS or uh, intrusion detection system. Okay, so then the request should come to the private um, systems. Now, in 2003, there was a prediction by Gartner. They had said that it is a market failure. The intrusion detection systems are market failure and it is going to be obsolete by 2005. But it doesn't happen. If you see right now, there is a numbers of good softwares or intrusion detection systems available and they are one of the most important thing to configure your security uh, for your server or private network. Uh, here are some names, Jig, OpenDLP, Kismet, and uh, Security Onion. And there is a many, lots, many lists are there uh, you can find over the internet. Now, what happens in IDS? So here is your data or your enterprise data. Okay, it is surrounded by a layer of technology, then it is surrounded by, you know, some operation that means what operation you have allowed uh, on your server or system or what uh, operations are blocked and then a layer of people who maintains all these things if somebody outside threats are coming from outside they need to go through all these layers okay so if you see uh, more uh, you know detailed uh, of this uh, detailed view of these layers you can see in this diagram the one attacker who is coming, this attack is coming from the outside, first need to interface the network. So uh, this network means here it involves the, all the firewall, DMZ zone, all these things. Then if it passes through this layer, it will come to the platform. So platform means uh, you may have uh, antivirus installed, you may have some security configuration, okay, all these things. Then it comes, if it also passes this layer, it comes to the application so application means secure coding and uh, security specification when you have built your application you have configuration so it is a database server when you have configured your database server that is the, the database uh, server software i mean so that software is having its own security secure coding so that uh, no malicious operation can happen on the system on the database okay then comes to the data so it fire data encryption uh, you know enterprise right and management all these things then it comes to the 
response which involves all the monitoring intrusion detection and uh, remediation if all these layers are passed by attacker then only he is going to make some intrusion to your system so this is the current scenario no types of intrusion de detection system there is basically three kind of system one is network intrusion detection another is uh, host based intrusion detection system and hybrid intrusion detection system if you look at network based intrusion detection system say here is the internet here is your uh, private uh, uh, systems in between you have a packet scanner that means whatever request uh, all the requests comes from the internet the private network in form of packets right so you have a scanner here which is basically a intrusion detection system and on the network itself it scan it but in case of host based you can see there is no scanner on the network the request or whatever packets are coming from the internet it directly hits your host machine or host system but your host system are having log it logs everything it you know stores everything in the log about the packet can okay and then it analyze and uh, then it decide whether it is a intrusion or not intrusion and there is hybrid intrusion detection system that means if the system have both the thing it have a network intrusion detection system uh, that is a device as well as the host computers are also uh, and are configured with proper logging okay now the differences uh, you can see here uh, network based uh, in intrusion detection systems are broad in scope but uh, host based are narrow in scope uh, it is easier to set up host based are more complex to set up and uh, so on you can uh, read them out uh, i'm not going to read line by line all the differences you can understand i think you have already understood what are the difference between them so here is the reference uh, you can go through thank you for watching